guys welcome to the channel my name is Kaylin. i'm a creative junkie and i upload awesome craft tutorials and i do design videos so if that's something that interests you please do consider subscribing to my channel i would really really appreciate it in today's video drum roll please we're going to be making some jasmine eye coasters i am so excited i'm so excited my whole craft journey started with resin you know the the part one and part what the part a and part b so my whole journey started with uh, resin i used to preserve flowers and stuff and it was so much fun i had a lot of fun doing that but i later found out that i was allergic to resin and i just i can't even i can't go near the stuff like i cannot even <laughs> i can't even look at it because i just break out in my eyes are just like my eyes will swell up and my body will break out in rashes and um, I'll just generally feel sick luckily when I've used UV resin it hasn't I haven't had a reaction to that so I'm really happy about that I'm hoping that jasmineite I'll be okay with it <laughs> apparently it's non-toxic so I guess that's a good thing so I'm really excited to get started uh and knowing me I have to put vinyl on everything I am going to try a few things today. I don't know if it's going to work. I am a beginner on jas in jasmineite. So I have like, I have no idea how to do this. This is my first time doing this. I know that it is a two to one ratio. I'm going to be explaining all the steps as I go along. Anyway, let's get right into the video. So I'm going to begin by mixing up my jasmineite. This will be available to purchase on my Facebook shop soon. I'll link it in the description below. This is a two to one ratio. So for the first batch, I mixed up about 200 grams of acrylic resin and then 400 grams of powder, which later on in the video, I realized I made way too much, but it's fine. I used it to make Toreto chips, so it didn't go to waste. I mixed uh, the powder and resin really well together. This is really important. You don't want to have too much lumps in your mixture. I think I've mixed for about three minutes and just try to get any lumps out. I think you can purchase electric whisks or something like that to uh, help you uh, mix your jasmineite better. I know that some stores do sell that. I think this would have that would have made my life a little bit easier because when I went to make the Terezo chips, I did notice that there were quite a few lumps in my mixture. So just pay special attention to that if you are mixing up jasmineite. And I'm not going to lie, uh, throughout the production, well, not throughout, um, I think in the middle of producing the video, I did get a bit frustrated, but we'll get to that in a few minutes. So over here, I am adding the powder. Now, this is really important. If you don't mix the correct ratios, your jasmineite is not going to set properly. So um, always remember that the acrylic resin is one part and the powder is two parts. Say, for example, 300 grams of acrylic resin, you need to add 600 grams of powder. So it's basically just double the amount of the acrylic resin. I then went on to add in my pigment, which again will be uploaded to my shop soon. So I did start off with a drop of pigment and then I had to add more because I wanted it to be a little bit darker. Um, so this is obviously just going to depend on your pigment and what sort of color you're going for. Um, but mine, I kind of wanted just like a super dark black and you'll see it's, it's going to change like the, this video, I, I just, I don't know. I went into it so unprepared and I kind of just went into it so blindly. Um, I didn't really do any research. I just saw people doing jasmineite and I was like, well, I've got to do that. I made a lot of mistakes. And so <laughs> the end result turned out very differently from what I had in mind.
in a moment you'll see me just tapping on the edges of the mold uh, just to get the bubbles or the air bubbles to sort of rise to the top um, later on the, in the video when I went to do another set of coasters I actually decided to pour in a little bit of jasmineite and then tap it to try and get rid of the air bubbles and then I'd add the rest of the jasmineite into the mold um, I did find that that really helped with air bubbles I would recommend just putting a little bit or even brushing a coat of jasmineite on to the surface of the mold first and then trying to get rid of some air bubbles and then filling the rest of the mold Okay, so here's the fun part. I demolded all of them and I was pretty happy except for the tiny micro air bubbles, which I really don't like. Um, and that's one thing that I always had with resin. They were always just little tiny bubbles. Um, but when I go to make another set of these coasters later on in the video, um, when I did the method to just add a little bit of jasmineite and then try and get air bubbles out by just tapping on the side of the mold and then filling the rest of the mold um, afterwards it did seem to help with that problem so I was really really happy that that worked out so I decided then to add some decals and these were so pretty oh my gosh i really like them and then my plan was to add uv resin to seal the decal in but that did not work out so if there's anything you can take from today's video do not put uv resin on jasmineite it just doesn't work out and um, I'm not going to lie, there were like fumes and funny smells. I don't know what happened, but just wouldn't, Rick, don't do it. Like, I feel like it's kind of dangerous. Um, I probably should have been wearing protective gear. Don't mix jasmineite and UV resin, <laughs> lesson learned. Um, and when I did put the resin on, when I was finished with it, I kind of just, I really thought it looked disgusting. <laughs> If I have to be very honest, I kind of like the natural look of jasmineite, the sort of matte finish that it gives. So uh, I did decide to redo this whole, the whole set of coasters. Um, and then after that, I got my mix ratio wrong and my jasmineite didn't set. So I had to do it again. And I actually used all my jasmineite on this project today. And I have learned so much. I made so much mistakes, but I'm actually really happy with the very end result. I think it actually came out prettier than what I thought it would. If you can take anything, don't mix um uv resin with jasmineite i mean i don't know i've tried it it didn't really work for me maybe you guys know a little bit better i just wouldn't recommend that
Okay, so this is when I decided that I really didn't like the UV resin. I didn't like the look of it. So I decided to scrap that whole thing and start over again. So I did the exact same steps. Um, I just changed how much I used. So for the second batch of coasters, or actually the third, because I made so much mistakes, um, I used... 100 grams of acrylic resin and then 200 grams of powder if i'm not mistaken then i repeated that process again because there were some stuff ups <laughs> and i decided to add um, some of the terrazzo chips that i made uh, to the other batch well the very last batch that I made and I decided you know what screw it I'm gonna make six coasters and just use everything so that's exactly what I did and I actually think it came out so beautiful I'm so happy with the end result so over here you can see that I'm just dropping the coaster onto my workbench and that's just to get some of the air bubbles to the top so this method seemed to work for me Okay, so this is the last batch that I made and I added the Terezo chips into this batch. I didn't add any pigment. This is just the um, Jasmineite on its own. And it's actually really nice. It's a really nice color. I really, really like it. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. They turned out so beautiful. Um, so I'm going to let you watch the rest of the video of me unmolding this. And I also changed my decals. So I wanted the coasters to have the same theme so i changed my decals to white and they just turned out so pretty they actually came out way better than i thought so i'm really really happy with this And that's it for this video i will be making more of these in the future and i also want to test out some things so be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss those videos thank you so much for watching if you've made it to the end i really appreciate you have a good weekend everyone bye